Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope wherever you are, uh, your children are being educated. Because <laughs> that's not happening currently in West Virginia. And I've had a few uh, questions pointed at me as a West Virginia resident. What I feel about this, does it affect me? How does it affect me? That sort of thing. Um, and I want to be very clear up front, I cannot I cannot publicly express to you my emotions about this and how I feel about uh, the leadership and that sort of thing. So let's just strike that from the record. Chevy can't talk about that legally. Uh, but what I can tell you about is what is actually happening. And a lot of the news sources really aren't covering it. The strike started because uh, teachers were promised last year um, a pay raise. We were promised, they were promised a substantial pay raise, and uh, to fund that pay raise, the state made a whole bunch of cuts. Here we are this year, and they're getting like 2%, which is nothing, like less than $1,000 a year, way less than $1,000 a year, like half that, $400 a year or something. Uh, the problem is, teachers are going to be given this 2% pay raise, uh, but PEIA our public employees insurance agency, which covers all public employees in the state, uh, premiums were going to go up significantly more than the 2% covered. So, so teachers were actually going to see uh, less take home pay come July 1st than they did last year, than they did the year before that even. And that's not cool. Um, so does it affect me? Yes, it affects me. My children are in school right now. I no longer work, um, in the K through 12 education sector. So the teacher's pay raises don't apply to me anymore. They used to, my pay scale was based off of the K 12 pay scale. So my pay scale was affected by this. Um, that's no longer the case, but I am affected by PEIA. I am a, a public employee and so I have public employees insurance. And so uh, the premiums going up is, would impact my personal take home. Um, that being said, <laughs> and this is this is not exactly a popular opinion uh, because public insurance, the 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 PEIA is a benefit that is used to sell state jobs. What I mean by that is uh, a lot. A lot of people choose to work for the state because of benefits, because the benefits that the state provide are way better than private. Um, and that is certainly the case in my personal life. I, I choose to be a state employee because I enjoy, one, uh, for the last eight years, I've enjoyed helping students and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and two, uh, I, I feel like the the hit that I take financially, I work for way less than comparable uh, tech people in my field locally even. I mean, I work way less than people in California, but even people in my area make significantly more financial dollars than I make. Uh, but my benefits heavily outweigh that in my opinion. The, the amount of time off I receive, um, the insurance that I receive, and um, general workplace environment, that sort of stuff is way more suited to me than making a ton of money. So when somebody says I have to start paying more for my insurance, that hurts. But I've also worked jobs where my insurance costs me about $800 a month for my family. That's, that's working for a private industry. That's just how it is. And currently my insurance is less than 200. Um, a month and that's dental and vision and everything. And, uh, I don't want to say suck it up cause that's just not, that's not cool. That's not a cool thing to say. You know, obviously if, if there's money left on the table that was, that was promised, even if it wasn't earmarked in financial ledgers, if it was, if somebody said, we're going to give you raises, we're going to give you this, and then they don't do it. That's cruddy. Right. And that's what the teacher strike is all about. Um, it also affects me because my children are in school. Now, me personally, uh, 
Jamie and I have um, her mom to watch the children, and so there's it's not a financial hit. We don't have to find childcare suddenly, but there's a lot of people who are really struggling right now because school was essentially their childcare. Uh, there's a lot of children who are struggling because school was offered them two full meals a day, which they're not currently getting because we are such a poor state, and that's really sad. It's super sad, and um, but I, I you know. Something will be done. It'll, it'll get fixed. Uh, it's a weird situation right now. Um, where my office is, we share a, a driveway with a elementary school. And so the teachers have been picketing out there all day. And I'm in the back of my building. And I can still hear all the car horns and stuff. So it's a constant reminder that um, that they're out there fighting. And, you know, ultimately, uh, whatever happens from this, uh, the PEIA portion of it m might affect me. Um, and so, you know, it is what it is, but that's what's happening. Um, teachers thought that it was going to be over. They, there was a, a proposal made and they seemed like, oh, th that's good. We're going to, okay, you're going to give us this. And, and, and then the, the, the teachers decided that it wasn't enough. And so they thought the strike was over and then they've come back in there and they're striking again. Uh, the other thing is this is being called illegal. It, it, it's an illegal work stoppage essentially. And, um, boards, board of educations could, um, seek damages from the teachers for doing this. Will that happen? I seriously doubt it. Um, board of education members in these, in these local communities, um, really support their, their staff. So I don't see them doing that, but it could get ugly. Those are just the facts. No opinions for me, for anybody watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and commenting, subscribing. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Whether I can answer you or not, is completely up to what type of question you ask. Uh, you can always email me if you want to ask me something privately about it. I'll see you tomorrow. These random fact comes from Wikipedia. What kind of pepper is crushed red pepper? Crushed red pepper, or red pepper flakes, is a condiment consisting of dried and crushed as opposed to ground red chili peppers. The condiment is made from hot dried red peppers and is not made of one type of chili, but from various combinations of ancho, bell, cayenne, and other dried red peppers.